What up, what up? It's your favorite game, so August Blue, and this is the Good Game Podcast. You understand me? Now, as y'all can see, man, what we on right now, cuz. This nigga's over here turned up, cuz. Hey, man, what's the deal, cuz? What's the motherfucking deal, cuz? It's your boy, Jizzle, man. Your girlfriend's favorite YouTuber. And uh, we back. You know, we just talking shit and, and hanging out tonight. Yeah, 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 man. You already know, first things first. First things first, man. I got to get this off. Shout out to Juju Watkins, cuz. Definitely. Kenna, always, you a freshman. I know it hurt because you really a true hooper and you care about the game. You got that Mamba mentality for real, for real. Um, yeah, hold your head up. You ain't got to worry about none of, the, none of the BS. Facts, 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 man. I seen, yeah, they was having the emo- uh, emotional time about it, and I understand it. Um, you know, playing sports when I was younger, uh, I won't say the feeling was the same. I'm what they would call a sore loser. You know, I I get pissed off and be mad at my team and all kind of shit. Like, that's that's why it wasn't for me. <laughs> I mean, I feel that too. I feel that too. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on. I clock 10 G's a week, boomer. You gonna turn up till he come back. There ain't no future in your front. All to the double E D and down with my homie All right, y'all. Yeah. So uh I had to turn that good old AC on, man. It was getting out of bed. Oh yeah, that weather coming back. Shit, I ain't had to turn the heat on at night lately. Yeah, cause yeah, that's what that's what I had on. I had to I had the heater on. But um, yeah, Juju Watkins, hold your head. Hey, you did what you were supposed to do. You broke a record or you broken records. You as a freshman, you're doing this at as at a freshman level, which <laughs> is almost I don't want to say unheard of, but they don't they're not doing what you're doing every day. Let me ask you this, bro. Do you think because I, I I've been you know I've been watching content today and you know I watch sports content. I watch all type of shit, and you know they not guaranteeing it, but they saying could could this could this new class of women's basketball that we seeing right now in college could they cross over into the NBA? And change the numbers. And you know, I think I read I read somewhere yesterday that they said the highest uh WNBA contract ever was two hundred and seventy-five thousand, while in the NBA, the minimum entering the NBA is one point one million. So you can be the trashest ass nigga in the NBA and still make more than the most talented woman in the WNBA. Do you believe that this class of women, because of the attention they're getting right now, could could they cross over into the WNBA and change the marketing of the game? Most definitely, because we all know, I I, I think um, sports is kind of like music, where um, things change, you know, as generations change. And a lot of times, um, most things tend to cater to the younger generation, always. Um, And I feel like right now, they have way more. This generation of of female basketball players have the attention of the little girls that I feel college and WNBA has never had. You know what I'm saying? Like like the amount of attention, the amount of love and support. And not saying that, you know, little girls never looked up to the WNBA players and stuff like that. But when I was a kid, I didn't hear none of the girls that 
you know, I knew wanted to play basketball, say, oh, I want to be like Lisa Leslie, or I want to be like, you know what I'm saying, Cheryl Swoops. They would, eat, they if they wanted to play ball, they wanted to be a female MJ. They would say these these men's names, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, cool. but the little girl today that wants to play basketball, she's going to tell you, I want to be like Juju Watkins. I want to be like Kaylin Clark. I want to be like uh, um, I can't remember old girl name. She transferred from USC to NC State. I think it's NC uh, State, if I'm not mistaken. Um, uh, she, uh, I think she's Samoan or Hawaiian or something like that. Um, baller though, baller. And you know, these are the 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 the, the young ladies that a lot of these little yeah. girls aspire to be. You know what I'm saying? When, when they want to pursue a, a career in basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I feel like, yeah, the, 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 the ticket sales, everything with boost, like just look at over this past weekend where we had, uh, two of the biggest games in women's sports, right? We had LSU versus Iowa. And then right after that, we had UConn versus USC which means you had Kaitlyn Clark versus Angel Reese, the the rematch, because remember, right. that's you. They won. won last, they won last year. Then, right. Yeah. Kaitlyn Clark has that Mamba mentality in her. On her offseason, she's working. Right. She not, she's not on social media. She's not, she don't care about nothing. She's locked in. She's thinking about, the next championship already. She's thinking about getting there already. That's you know, the female, what I mean? that's the female Joker. You know what I mean? Like she, she, she's she's nice. And then you got Paige, Paige Buckers or Buchers. I uh, can't remember how to pronounce her last name, but uh, number five over at UConn, baller, baller. She, you know what I mean? Like these girls, when they get to the league, bro, those are gonna be the girls. To change the face of the NBA, uh, WNBA, where I feel they're going to bring in more uh, because these girls are more so real ballers. They don't have to like these the WNBA players now. The reason why they're even getting any kind of attention is because, bro, they out there, they damn near like, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can I put it? How can I word it? Like they're oh, got they, only fans and all kind of shit. Yeah, they have only fans. Like when you go on a WNBA player's page now, you might see that link tree uh link <laughs> in their bio. And we all know when we see a female with that link tree in her bio okay, on Instagram, more than likely eight times out of ten, that motherfucker got an only fans link in that motherfucker. I don't and these are I don't think it's just going to be the talent transferring over into the WNBA that's going to do it for them because we knew what the what the NBA was pre-Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we seen what they did with the NBA. You know, not to take nothing away from the GOATs talent, but, you know, we seen what the NBA did with Jordan. They found a man that was their guy, the marketable right. one. You know what I mean? They found the marketable one. And, you know, they put the machine behind Michael Jordan because, you know, everything about Michael Jordan was just it, – it, it was just a brand in itself. Right. You know I mean? The nigga got the cool name, Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? What that stand next to? Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he had the cool name. Uh, his – not just his talents in, in basketball – but even Ray Charles can see that this dude was stylistically one of the highlighted players of his time. And right. you, you can see just the way he played the game stylistically. You know, some players are good, but they play an ugly, rugged game. Mm -hmm. This dude made it look smooth and easy, so he was, he was very marketable. And, you know, they, the powers that be, were able to put the machine behind him and make him the face of the NBA and this is why the players make what they make today because of the marketing of Michael Jordan. And this is why the shoe, the shoe contracts are like they are because of the marketing of what they did with Michael Jordan. So what I'm saying is I don't think that it'll just be their talents uh, transferring over 
to the WNBA that will change the WNBA. I think the machine have to look at, you know, one or two of these girls and pick their person. And while you got the people attention, pick mm-hmm. your person and put the machine behind them. Cause I think right now, if they was to do it with, with a um, Juju with a Juju or Angel Reese or, 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 or Caitlin, I think that it will, you know, more more so, I think probably Juju or Angel. It's gonna Reed. be Juju. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna be Juju. Not to cut you off, bro. I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna be Juju though. You got you got Kobe, and then you got Michael Jordan, right? And then you fast forward time, and then you got LeBron James, and then you got what's another star that was like that we can compare to LeBron James. And this shit. time, I mean, ain't no that's the that's the freaking. But in a sense of in a sense of like, who's going to get the the movie roles? Who's going to get you know? Because we can see Juju. I can see Juju on Nickelodeon. I can see Juju on the Disney Channel. I can see Juju doing shit that they're gonna have her doing, which is mainly gonna be for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, because that's gonna be her market. Um. Angel Reese is the villain. They treat her like a villain. She started it. She brought it on herself. I mean, she she did to a certain extent, but, but I give. I, I mean, give basketball is competitive, though. Basketball is a competitive exactly. sport, and I don't like the fact that they do label her the villain. But she has to be able to accept that, like a Gary Payton and them accepted that, and they flipped it. They made us love the villain. You got to take lemons and turn it into lemonade because, you know, this is it's, it go back to the Kobe comparison with Angel Reese, because what she has to do is, you know, remember what he created the Mamba out of. Remember mm-hmm. when he came back, they was booing him. Nobody liked him because of the allegations. So he was like, I'm going to kill your favorite players every time I play these niggas. I'm going to bust their ass. No diddy. He did right. that shit every time he had to see niggas and he made them people love him. He put the Mamba face on. He marketed that shit to himself until he made the people love the Mamba. So I th- I think later on down the line, she can become a fan favorite and it can transfer over where they could put the machine behind her like they did Kobe eventually. Right. But like you said, you are completely right with, with Juju. She is the, 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 if they was to do it, she would be more of the Michael Jordan to the WNBA that they could put the machine machine behind. And I think, you know, all all four of those women that we just mentioned, I think that they will transfer nicely right now over to the WNBA. I think they will dominate. Most definitely. Now, you know, um, with Juju too as well, I feel like with Juju, man, you know, she has room. Like, cause I say she she's only a freshman, so there's a lot of room uh, for her to 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 uh, become greater than what she already is, and that's the scary part about her, is right. that she's only only going to get better. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? She's only going to get better, and you know they put her in some of these rooms with some big names, uh, uh, like Howard Dion. We saw Tom Brady at 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 Dion's house coaching right. his son, so that lets us know the level of 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 success or even just like belief that he has in his son. Where you know he gonna use the fact that he's Dion Sanders and can call Tom Brady and be like, "Hey, come out to the crib." You know what I'm saying? I mean, as he should though, too, because when you when you look at him, the boy got the talents. Mm-hmm. The boy got the talents to really go into the NFL and and be that guy. He can he I think he can go be what we expected Lamar Jackson to be. Right, 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 right. You no, know, I and nothing, nothing against Lamar Jackson. He wanted. I was just gonna say when you say what we expected Lamar Jackson to be, elaborate on that. Um. Well, see. After this season just passed, we just watched Lamar Jackson get that close again and not get over the hump. But what I was going to say, too, was, you know, he's so young, he's still got a lot of time left. But sometimes the way the way we critique these players, 
It's, it usually don't go by their age. It's what you've done in a short amount of time. And I think because he's gotten close already more than once, he's gotten he's gotten so close, we kind of like, damn, is he going to ever get over the hump already? That's how we're looking at it. Mm-hmm. So what I mean is I I, I think I think it's, it's Shadur, right? Yep. I think Shadur, he, he can come in and actually be a leader on the team just watching – you know, even though when he when he um when he when he came to Colorado, even with them losing, you can still tell like this kid got it. Right. The losing wasn't because of him. You know what I mean? You could tell this kid got it. And I think we just got a chance of him entering the league and being a, a, a throwback, a, a throwback quarterback. I think we might see the coming of a, another Michael Vick with this dude. With Shador? With Shador, yeah. I'm not gonna argue that. If man. if 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 Travis get to go with him. <laughs> oh yeah, his boy, his boy. But do you think that's 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 like okay, he's not he's not good if he doesn't have, you know, oh boy on his squad to throw to. No, he, he still will be good, but I mean you gotta you you gotta look at the chemistry that they have. Um Tom Brady, Gronkowski. Uh, yeah, um, every um, every quarterback has that um, that one guy, Mahomes, that one guy. Mahomes and uh, Travis Kelsey. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm going. Mm-hmm. So, not saying he can't enter the league and and you know get that chemistry with somebody else, but him and this dude is they very good together. They they're a good match together. So, and that dude play both sides of the ball too. Yeah. So you know what I mean. I would like, I would like if it was if it was up to me, I'd like to see all three of them go somewhere. Atlanta need them right now. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Uh do you really think they ready for the NFL? I definitely do. But I I, I was I would say give them another year though. Give them one more year. But I, I think if they was to go to the NFL, I think them dudes would do good right now in the NFL. I think yeah. they would do good right now in the NFL. But I would say, you know, just on the safe side, give them another year. We you don't want to rush it. Like, look at this shit that's going on right now with LeBron's son, because they, you know, they trying to push him because they they got a they got a window. LeBron is Asian. LeBron is Asian, and mm-hmm. he's even publicly saying he don't know how long he got left now. You know what I mean? He's Asian. And he's trying to slow his age down and speed his son up so right. that they can so that they can play together at least a year. And so, he would be the first to ever do it. But when you look at his performance at USC, you 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 heard he put a request in, right? Yeah, I saw on Twitter um he posted a picture of him in uh, uh Ohio State uh uniform. I said, Oh damn, okay. But you know what's gonna happen with that? That's him. You know, it's it's a little competitive over there. It's it's, it's more competitive over there, USC, and he he's he's trying to go somewhere where he can shine a little more. You know what I mean, and if mm-hmm. if they if they can make him if they can make him look, all they got to do is make him look better than what he is. If they can create the illusion that he's better than what he is. Then you know the money is already behind him. His daddy is LeBron James. The NBA is waiting on him. He just right. got to he just got to show them something. They're waiting on him. Right, dude, dude. If he if he if next season if he have a nice a nice season in Ohio, it's already gonna be talk. So oh, uh, he's ready to enter the draft and all that shit. And it's it's gonna it's gonna speed it up. But he gonna be like he gonna be like Michael Jordan's son. A lot of niggas don't know Michael Jordan's son actually played college ball and was decent, but he just wasn't as good as his daddy. This is why a lot of niggas don't know about that shit. Right. Them, them some big shoes to fill. So I don't think, I don't think, um, I don't think Bronny is going to be anything close to his father at all. He's basic as shit. Remember them, remember them, them, them tapes of LeBron in high school? Mm-hmm. Dude, we, we knew a fucking phenom was coming. When we seen them tapes, we knew. When right, we seen right. that, nigga, we had never, to, to be honest, 
we've never seen when I watch them tapes, I've never seen a nigga play high school basketball like that. I've never seen nothing like that when I seen when they start when they start the tapes start coming out of him on ESPN and all that. When Brian was like in eleventh grade, yeah, we we had never seen nobody like that in a high school game. It was like what the fuck in high school he looked like he should have been in the NBA already. Right, right, right. So you know we knew a phenom was coming, and we knew he was gonna be a force to be reckoned with. We knew he was gonna be the face of the NBA when he got there. Uh, with Bronny, it's just not the same thing. Them some, but again, that don't mean he can't go be basic and you know be 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 average and have a career in the NBA. But I think the world was waiting on him to fill his daddy's shoes, and I just don't think he's gonna be able to. Man, well, we we for sure gonna see, man. We gonna see what he gonna do over there in Ohio State. That other boy though, what's his name? Bryce. Who? What's his, what's his other son name? Uh, oh, Bryce. Bryce. Yeah, 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 yeah. That boy nice. Yeah, he's most definitely nice. But they don't they don't really give no shine like that. I mean, I don't want to say don't give you no shine, but we know the focus is on Bronny. Well, it's 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 gonna be like the Ball Brothers. You know, you can't you can't put the shine on the one that's still developing. You putting the shine on the one who's next to go. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? So when that when that be a bus, the spotlight gonna be on Bryce to see what he gonna do. You know, we thought Alonzo Ball coming out of uh UCLA. We thought that motherfucker was gonna be the truth. The way he played at UCLA, and we not he's he's a dope player to me, but he just wasn't he he didn't live up to the hype that his father created. And see, his father also told us, so yeah, Lonzo go go to the to the league. They all gonna go to the league. He told us all this. But he also told us that LaMelo, he's better than Lonzo. He told us that off the rip. Yeah. Lonzo yeah. is better than I mean LaMelo is better than Lonzo. And when <laughs> they got when you you look at Lonzo's uh uh Lonzo's debut Versus Lamelo's debut. Lamelo came in that motherfucker and was playing like he'd been there already. What's the other brother though? The one that went to jail in China or something? Angelo, and that's the one he was trying to say was better than both of them. And that's the one they won't let in the league because of that bullshit. Right, exactly. Man, hopefully, if if they vote Trump in, Trump, Trump, Trump might talk to somebody. We might have him on the Lake <laughs> Show. We might have him on the Lakers, nigga. <laughs> I think so we gonna get him on the Lakers. Yeah, yeah, Trump Trump got Trump got China to release him. Like, man, he got he got him out. Nigga, you know, Trump get to pull us some strings. Yeah, once he uh make the call, you know, I see he getting niggas out of jail and all that shit. Word, word, word. Yeah, man. Um have you been paying attention to any of the podcasts like back on fig, no jump or any of that? Um like if I see like little clips or something like that pop up on my timeline, you know what I'm saying? I uh I'll check it out and shit like that. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm gonna uh try to pull a clip up, but I'm gonna just uh give you a rundown on some of this uh trending topic right now. Yeah. So that nigga uh S Mac had uh Charleston White, he called Charleston White. So they had him on back on fig via telephone, yeah. via, via cell phone. And um basically, um some say he disrespected them niggas, but when you watch the whole thing and see the breakdown, I get what he meant from how it sounded, but all the rest of the world heard was, Oh, this nigga, that's Mac and T Rail, let that nigga disrespect their dead homies. So you know it's 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 some it's some contra controversy behind it. Let me see if I can uh if we can get it going real quick. Yeah. Mm. I gotta remember how I did this shit last time, bro. <laughs> oh, you put up um, how you was pulling up the clips. Yeah, man. 
slot, uh, share screen, video file, extra camera. Mm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, we in motion like the ocean. There we go. So let me pull it up. Um, uh, I don't want to pull the whole video up. I really just want to see the clip of it. Uh, uh, let's see. Charleston White. Jeez. How long is this shit? Okay. No. All right. We just gonna do it up like this real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, who I'm talking to? Man, it's T Real. Oh, what you mean? What's the deal? I need direct questions. Yeah, give them direct I'm a, questions. I'm, a, I'm an intellectual. I need direct questions. Well, you know, since you was looking, we were discussing on uh whether or not it, if it was appropriate for you to be uh dissing a dead man's son. Oh, uh, who, who who worried about what's appropriate for another grown man that ain't got nothing to do with them? Right, Nigga, right. me. Cause yeah, I felt yeah, like yeah, that sound, that sounds sound like what a hoe do. Yeah. Cause another grown man ain't worried about nothing that don't pertain to them. Not if it's not uh, morally correct. You know what I'm saying? You got these goddamn yeah, kids I mean, out I here. Sound about no morally correct, and you got gang bangers on your podcast. So what? Morals, and you nigga got gang bangers on your podcast. I don't got no gang bangers on my podcast. I got what? gang members on my podcast. Smack, smack, smack. Yes. Smack ain't no gang. Huh? Smack ain't no gang banger. He's a gang member. Gang member, gang banger, all the same. They could all promote the killing and detriment of the black community. Right, right, Charleston, it all right. Make black mothers cry. It all causes black men to go to jail. Niggas do all the same thing. Oh, oh, so you taking up for this gang member right here then? Because no, he no, promote no, he promote no, detrimental no, shit to the uh, black community. I ain't, I ain't taking up for no gang member. Nigga, I'm asking your question. You talking about something moral, but you got gang members in and around you, and gang members kill, don't they? Not all, all of them. All of all gangs kill, homie. So let's not talk more. All gangs kill, but not all members kill. No, 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 no. All gang members are a part of a gang, right? Yes. So they're a part of an institution and an entity that kills. They are, but not all of them involve themselves oh, into crimes. You can stop with the butts. You can stop with the butts. Gang members and gangs are negative, and you can't stand in no court and no household, and nobody's gonna respect the gang member. Including your mama, your grandmama, or your baby mama. Right. Nobody respects gang member for you to try to put the butt in there. But let me tell you why I don't give a fuck about what's moral. <laughs> Nigga, morals don't mean shit to me if I feel disrespected. Thank you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if your baby got molested this morning and it was leaked on the news. I'm gonna make mockery of your molested baby, nigga, if you step on my toes and I don't like it. Right. Right, right, Charleston, and I feel you 100%. I don't give a fuck about no nigga, homie. Nigga gang members shoot up each other's houses. Nigga, you niggas didn't have no problem. We had, what, 12 years of drill music? I don't remember one time the Back on Fig podcast or this T-Rail nigga. I don't ever remember you hearing, hearing you condemn Lou Dirk, Keith Keith, King Vaughn, Nipsey Hustle. None of them niggas, because all of them talk about the enemies. And their enemies be dead. You don't never say nothing when a nigga put it on the dead homie. But you, you, you're a little older. You a little older, and you supposed to have you supposed to have a little insight on what's going on. I'm not supposed to have nothing if I don't like you, nigga. It's fuck your baby. So how the fuck is you gonna teach these kids something different if you if you doing the same thing? If I don't like you, I kill your kids. But Charleston, why always say he's not here to teach nobody nothing? He's not here for that. So how are we gonna learn if you doing it at your old age? 
say, nigga, I'm online playing a character that done made five million in three years. Who paying attention to my character? Nigga, when I do this shit in real life, then you niggas overlook what I do in real life. Right. You niggas stuck on the character because you niggas is bomb, broke, useless male. Nigga, I done made five million dollars with this internet character. I'm in movies, nigga. The rappers are Bro, I'm a I'ma stop it for a minute so we can kind of reflect before we let him keep going. But uh what you think so far? Uh man. <laughs> I can't help but to think about uh I can't help but to think about this nigga uh smack in the background. Just <laughs> Being a fucking cheerleader, cuz yeah, fucking <laughs> sucking dick, no diddy. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, cuz? I mean, that shit just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, and it's crazy because when when Charleston is telling you, like, nigga, that shit is a character. I do this that that and the third in real life i mean i don't follow the dude you know what i'm saying at all so i don't know what it is he got going on but for somebody who does follow him they probably know what he does for whatever community or whatever the case may be in real life and he just said like yeah y'all paying attention to a character that you know it's kind of like you know when uh females get so caught up into soap operas and 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 shit like that and like like the character from um the movie uh what's the movie the tyler perry movie care uh, um uh, uh, i think his name was charles or some shit like that in one of those uh tyler perry movies care where females don't like that nigga at all like in real life, they think that his character on the movie is him in real right, life. Right, right. And so I, I, I mean, I, I get that part, but yeah. Just even wanting to get an understanding from him, that's not on my agenda. Like I wouldn't really give a fuck about what he's doing. I think I, I what I got from it may be a little different. I look at it like this. Um. It's like the saying they, they say, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So I do believe that when you're talking to somebody that you know, you've heard and know for a fact that they can speak intelligence and understanding, but you choose to approach and have a, a, low, a low vibration conversation I don't think you can really get mad when you choose that type of conversation. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me earlier if I sat down with Charleston White, would I engage in that? I'm like, no, I would not. And neither would he because I've seen him go on platforms and have intelligent conversations and really touch on a lot of uh, social black issues, you know, that, that that's within our communities that affect us daily. And he be busting, no diddy. He be busting though. He be he be talking that shit. You feel me? Yeah. So you know when you watch these things, you know that this man is educated. But when you want to go and have the simplest fucking conversation with him, because you're trying to get a reaction out of him for likes and views and shit to to make money off your monetization, because he's gonna go viral doing the dumb shit. You mm -hmm. cannot. At what comes out this man's mouth. If he say fuck your kids, if he say fuck your hood, if he say fuck your dead homies, you spark that low vibration conversation. So you can't get mad if you get hit with a fucking strike. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because the man is capable of kicking knowledge for real, for real. He goes off for whatever you want to do. So I think, you know, with this conversation that T Rail is trying to have with him. You can even see in, in T. Real mannerisms how he's moving and all that. Like he's trying to, him and him and S. Mac was trying to rile him up to get a viral moment out of him via mm -hmm. via cell phone. But um, let's let's see what else he's talking about.
for rapping about me from this character. Why would why why would I quit, nigga? Cause you niggas stuck on internet. So with your character, you don't feel like you you being detrimental to the, to the black community? I don't, feel, I don't feel nothing, nigga. Didn't you just hear me say I made five million? Fuck some feelings. So the money is over the community. Million, nigga. I touch five million dollars from doing what you doing. Facts. Talking on the internet, nigga. Facts. He ain't lying. He ain't not lying, bro. So you rather break you better break us down and take that five million and say fuck our community. Smack right now you're coming this mouth. To a nigga that's getting a YouTube check, nigga. Fuck, I'm gonna break some down. Nigga, you waiting on a YouTube check, nigga. And I done made 10,000 in booking fees today. I'm selling out comedy shows around the country, nigga. Facts. House of Blues, Live Nation. Facts. Fuck, I'm gonna break some down to a broke ass nigga. <laughs> what I'm saying. Nigga, the last time I seen them comedy shows, them motherfuckers be getting shut down. No, no, no. Hey, nigga, I, I bought my mama a new car last month. Mama, go pick what you want and post it online. Facts. He ain't I bought my daughter a new car, nigga. What kind of car? It depends. Hey, hey, pause it real quick here. Yeah. Right. She got what she wanted. Hey, what? This nigga's that's my cat. <laughs> cuz sound like uh cuz on uh on that movie Django cuz. <laughs> yeah, who, who that nigga on that neck? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cuz I tell you, he sound like cuz on life, cuz that motherfucker hopping Bob, cuz. Hey, bro, 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 bro is literally, I, I can't, I can't stand niggas that do that, but bro is literally over there, nigga, with his meat in that nigga mouth like Karen Stephens or something. Like, bro, how are you, you this, you this starstruck with this old ass? Like, bro, I've never, you know. I always tell niggas this. I don't give a fuck about famous, none of that. Niggas got their favorite celebrities, but you are never, as a man, as a grown man, not a child, as a grown man, no man should never romanticize about another man. And when I say romanticize, some niggas are thinking like, oh, man, like, nigga, I ain't gay. Romanticize is when you take a man other than God himself and you hold him in a light to where you just agree with everything he say. You agree with everything he say. Everything you do, you think he's cool. Nigga, you worse than his bitch. <laughs> nigga, so good. Hey, you worse than his nigga, bitch. That nigga said, nigga, some, some. I made it. That nigga said, yeah, he did. Yeah, he yeah. did. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You fucking backup dancing motherfucker. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> like, bro, like, and, and, you know, that, that another thing that's just so whack about that shit, bro, is like at, th at at this point, man. At this point, I think if everything is for sale, like if you can get on the internet and everything is for sale, and I don't have no knock, I have no knock to T Rail and S Mac and the, the content that they create. No knock to them, bro. Whatever you're doing, if you're seeing any kind of revenue off of it, keep doing it. But you know. It is a thing to like, nigga. You you representing a certain thing while you doing this shit, right. and it, it and it and we already got so many niggas out here making a mockery of the culture. It's starting to, you know, it's gonna come to a point where we're not gonna even be proud to be who we are no more in what in our culture that we come from out here, because the whole world gonna look at it like it's goofy in a minute. Right. Nah, no, that's because for sure. These niggas, these niggas, it was one thing when we have niggas like the goofy nigga like Quando Rondo. These niggas playing the gangs, the gangs from here, but they come from other states. So it's like, oh, that nigga, that nigga from Whoopie Whoop State, you know what I mean? He ain't like a real LA nigga. When you got real LA niggas that's uh, uh, allowing, you know, the life we come from to be a mockery. Eventually, it's going to, I mean, it's just watered down as it is already. They're going to wash the shit down the drain, and nobody's going to respect the culture we come from no more because of niggas like them sitting up there playing. Right. And then it'll have to be somebody, you know, that will have to become the example, thinking that, you know, because everybody is playing with it, that they're going to try it one day, and it's just not going to be their day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, or it will be they day. You know what right. I mean? 
where they gonna have to just find out the hard way that nah, nigga, you know, it's not to be played with. It's still motherfuckers out here that that's not with the internet shit. Don't even want to be seen on camera. It's a gang but, of niggas that niggas know homies that don't want to be on camera because they really outside. Right, right, right. Yeah, man. But you know, it, it you got different kind of individuals too. When niggas uh when niggas lose their connection to reality and sometimes doing content, you may drift off into that, you know, content or any kind of entertainment for for that matter, because we do have to become a character when we do certain shit. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So because we're a walking brand, we become a one once we start putting our face on the internet and we doing content or we doing music. You know, we become a walking brand because our job is to build our brand to the top. So you do have to become a character to do so. So I think sometime when you get lost in character of what you're doing, you can possibly lose a disconnect to what you really come from doing that shit. And mm-hmm. this is why these dudes, they get a little position in whatever they do and start having some motion. Nigga, they get, they get on that camera and they be ready to sell their essence you know, for, for, for a YouTube check. Right. Right. And this is what I always, I always go back to integrity. Everybody want to use integrity. Everybody want to say integrity, but at the same time, everybody want to say, well, gangbanging is dead anyway. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Then, then stop then, nigga. Hang it up, motherfucker. Because we all don't feel like that. Yeah. If you, if you feel like it's that dead where you got to go sell it for some content in a negative light, then like nigga, hang it up, nigga. Don't don't have the rest of us looking crazy, nigga, because you willing to go out, out, out with your pants at your ankles, nigga. Right. I mean, nigga, and I mean it's basically done already because all these niggas is doing it. You know what I mean? And it just lets you know all these niggas stand on business and all all that bullshit, man. Niggas have no integrity. This is a generation of spineless cowards. This is a generation of spineless cowards, nigga. These niggas. Don't stand for nothing, nigga. They're goofy, nigga. They, 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 they fall to the camera. They fall to drugs. They fall to women, and these would be the same niggas walking around talking about integrity. Yeah, you know what I mean. So we living in a different time, bro. And I just, you know, niggas like smacking T real. I mean, them niggas, them niggas is too old to be up there, uh, 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 entertaining certain shit. You know what I mean? Niggas too old to be. I wouldn't even did my studio or hoovered out like that. Like nigga, I wouldn't even did that shit, bro. Like, I mean, that shit is. You just a bad representation of where you come from. Man, nigga, gonna see what uh, nigga, you know what come of it. You know, you say some niggas just feeling like you let them disrespect them, and man, shit, nigga. If that's what it is again like you say niggas can't get mad uh, you are you kind of knew what was gonna happen yeah you knew you 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 knew what you was you know you knew you was fucking with something that didn't give a fuck yeah yeah man but um on another note though i'm gonna put his other shit up uh what's that man look you just gonna see it when it pop on the screen <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because <laughs> if, if, if I tell you what it is, you might not want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> okay, let's add it to the screen real quick. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> Opera GX is the best browser in the entire world. I've said that a million times now. I made the switch from Chrome to Opera it's today. Awesome. I'm embarking on something new and exciting. I am going to be attempting to troll the world into believing that I am a homosexual. Now, the problem is I am not a homosexual. In fact, I'm straight as an arrow. But I'm going to fool the world, and it's going to be hilarious. First step today i'm taking a photo with a gay corn star that's right i'm gonna 
go down the street and take a photo of myself walking the dog with Jack Doherty's gay porn star brother. And I'm going to have somebody film it and we're going to leak the footage and try to get some kind of like news hype cycle going. Am I going to regret this? It's possible because a lot of people in hip hop, <laughs> I don't know. They might just like disown me immediately as soon as they even get a inkling of this, but I'm going to give it a shot and I'm going to see what else I can do to kind of like increase the gay level up until April Fool's and then on April Fool's, I'm going to be like, okay, haha, I'm not gay or, or whatever. However, it was working out. I don't know. This is kind of like back of the napkin type gay promo. All right. Before I continue, uh, Hey, this nigga, hey, this nigga, that's just wild already, yeah, and, like, nigga, that, like, bro, just say, like, hey, just, just say, like, I'm, I feel like doing some gay shit today, care. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know before, you know, just in case somebody else is recording me and it, it gets put out there, so let me, that was, that was his security video his his video to you know like <laughs> yeah like he that nigga was and you ain't trolling shit you know, <laughs> know what you really young okay man nigga, look because that, that was that was trolling. my question and he was already trolling when he said oh you know you know a lot of my hip-hop friends like hip-hop like like that alone like i read in between the lines okay like when he said that, cause like he don't give a fuck about what they think, cause he like shit, man. Have niggas that go up in that that nigga building is 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 like that too, and he know that. Man, and I'm like, man, you know, how can you play gay? Yeah, I don't know, cause <laughs> how can you play gay? Like, what the fuck, like? Oh, you're gonna play gay today. You, I think it's sad. I'm gonna do it all the way up until April Fools. And then I'm just gonna tell the world, hey, it was it. Make it get the fuck out of here. Man, let me, let me let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, you ever heard of like queer baiting or gay fishing? That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna convince the world I'm gay because. We need to help the gays and we need to like show that they be struggling and shit. So I'm gonna really become one. Maybe by the end of this, I'll actually like bang a dude. Probably not. I'm gonna try to avoid that. <laughs> okay, so uh, introduce yourself. I'm Michael Doherty. And you're Jack's brother. Correct. Yeah. And what has it been like to see Jack become what he has become? I'm very proud of him and uh, all that he's done. He's been able to go from like nothing to having 14 million subscribers. Are there moments where you're like, okay, I don't know if I'm proud of him anymore because he's doing some of the weirdest stuff on the internet there's making some, everybody yeah, hate him. Yeah. I mean, there's some <laughs> stuff that he does, but everything he does is I feel like it's very calculated, mm. you know? Okay. She's ordering us around already. She's telling um, us that we're not getting intimate quickly enough. It? God damn it, Monica. Okay. How, how does it look? I think this um, is the best one. Throw it away. No. Oh, yeah, so I can prove I'm not. <laughs> How'd you like my acting? How's my, my gay acting? Oh, my God. I feel like the Taylor hoodie is a crucial part of this because it's like, why am I wearing bootleg oh, ass Peach Taylor. Taylor Swift merch? We're going to fast forward this shit a little bit. I don't want to watch this whole shit, but this shit get creepy. Okay, this is this where it's gonna get creepy at cuz <laughs> just tell me when to stop. <laughs> Are you sick of having issues with your webinars, wasting tons of time on troubleshooting with attendees? If so, <laughs> the fuck this thing? Oh, <laughs> 
Oh yeah, What the fuck is this shit? Cow cool, yeah. This thing is wild. Yeah. All right, this is <laughs> this thing is wild. Look at that Man, first look, one. Cow sitting there, cow with a, a leather like like collar on, <laughs> no shirt. Yeah, bro, that nigga's wild. Yeah, man. But it's because I, I expect that from them. Exactly. White people, I'll say it. <laughs> oh, white people doing white people type of shit. <laughs> hey, yeah, like, yeah, that's 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 wild. That's definitely wild, cub, but you know, ain't too much to be said about it. It's just a hot topic right now. I find it hilarious. It go back to what we said, you know, what we said in the past. Like, I'm not homophobic. I don't have a problem with gay people, but I do have a choice to coexist with them or not. And I don't, I choose not to coexist with them. It's not yeah. homophobia. It's a choice. Just like they have a choice to be gay. I have a choice to not want to be around your ass. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? Every, it's, 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 it's preference. Right. So no, it's no, not, no. not homophobia would be me gay bashing and just, oh my God, ill. Not nah, like when I see one, I see them all the time, you know, cause they're everywhere. I mean, in the grocery store and it might be one in there. I'm not like freaked out about seeing a, a tranny or something in a, in a grocery store, but like, is, is a nigga going to get me to like be at, you know, in the same vicinity as one by choice, like by choice, like, I know publicly, you know, I got to go in grocery stores. I have to get gas. I got to dare around. You know what I mean? Mm. But like, if I go somewhere and it's something I'm going to where it's like, oh, my boy, like, yeah, man, we going to be over here chilling. And I get there and it's one there. I'm out. Nigga, I don't want to be around that. Right, you know what I right, mean? Right. Shout out to them. You know, they sexual preference is their sexual preference. But it's just something I choose not to be around. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm cool, you know what I mean? It ain't, you know, it ain't nothing. <laughs> that nigga right there, cause crazy for that photo shoot though. That nigga had a whole photo shoot. Yeah, man, this nigga Adam 22 is way out, but you know, that's what you call a content whore too. Whether he actually had uh, engaged in any strange activities with this man beyond what we seen, I don't know, mm. but it's I've seen enough to be like he's gay. Yeah, cause you know, nigga, we just not gonna play like that. Right, 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 right. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, want no attention that bad. Yeah, man. That, um, kind, of, that kind of shit is out. We gonna um. We're going to run this one one time, you know what I mean? You know, anytime it's uh, something hot off the press. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime it's something hot off the press, we're going to do it up. Oh, definitely. Let me see if I can full screen that thing. Yeah. Check the status. I'm a winner and I've been that. Seven bullets still here. Yeah, I did that. Hubba came a lot of shit. Now it's big racks. Most of y'all would have folded and that's big facts. I'ma get mine, homie. You can hate it or love it. I'ma sleep good regardless. My nigga is nothing. Money good over here. I'm addicted to hustling. Fuck a lazy ass bitch. They always need to stop. I'm like a movie star. Work hard and you can go far. Pretty women hit the city in a fast car. No regrets. Peace attached in my war stars. I keep it on me like a nigga with a guard car. I speak facts. All I do in my raps. And I keep somebody baby mama all on my lap. I don't never do small talk. I'm bigger than that. Skinny Kenny. That's the OG. Put in the lap. I'm the big man. Match your mind with the big plan. You ain't a hater, small price, it's a big fan. A big deal when I ball like the big ten. Bomb bag, young ice chip and big ten. Life is good, I thank God that I'm here. Thinking about my dark moments, have me shedding them tears. Take your drinks, go all out, we can't do it in fear. Can't do it in fear. Yeah.
Uh. Yeah, man, that's that's one of them motherfuckers right there. Man, that nigga that's say, true. I keep it on me like a <laughs> what you nigga? I say, what you say? I keep it on me like a guard card. I keep it on me like a nigga with a guard card. Yeah, cause <laughs> <laughs> hey, cause every every nigga I know, man, that got that guard card. You know, nigga, why they went and got it, cause so they gone. They, you know, nigga, they they got that pistol on. That sticky blicky. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that that see the LA slang thing. I'm just gonna turn that in, cause at first I was just gonna do a whole mixtape. I was gonna do a whole mixtape called LA Slang where I was gonna take all these different, just different beats. First, it was just gonna be all West Coast beats, all old school West Coast shit. And I was, you know what I'm saying, go just spit bars over all the motherfuckers. But I said, you know what? I'm like, nah, I'm gonna turn LA Slang into like a, a um, how people got episodes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So each song, it's like an episode, you know what I mean? You notice um, I use uh, a lot of movie, uh, re- you know, like references. Like the first one I did, it had the uh, Menace of Society. Um, and then this one, of course, because of the beat was on next Friday soundtrack, the movie soundtrack. So I thought it was only appropriate to use the, you know, some footage from the movie or whatnot like that and then the next one i got pretty much gonna be the same thing uh, i'm gonna drop one to king of the hill west side connection king of the hill i'm gonna yeah. drop that one on friday and you know i ain't never you know it's been a while like nigga, i've never dropped visuals back to back like this yeah. that was something that i was always missing was just visuals so now niggas is, is dropping visible, so I know it's about to go up. Right, 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 man. And uh, you know, man, shit. This EP, we're gonna put this EP together. You gonna go smack them. EP we got going. You know what I mean? That motherfucker gonna go, man. So y'all most definitely need to be on the lookout for that because we got the EP. I'm doing the LA slang shit, you know what I'm saying? um try to drop at least two videos a week uh and then i got my album that i'm still working on wrapping up and shit like that well almost wrapping it up but still being worked on though right 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 man yeah man shit shit is in motion man we working shit we've been on about an hour it's another one like the other one I'm finna lay my ass down, and as in, as Trey would say, I'm about to catch some Z's. <laughs> <laughs> catch some Z's, kid. Yeah. Oh, he's talking about he about to catch some Z's. This nigga here, kid, sound like he got down 65 years old and shit. That nigga go to sleep having Diddy dreams, dreaming about <laughs> Diddy. <laughs> nigga wake up in cold sweats. Oh, Diddy, help me, help me, Diddy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up like that nigga Cowboy. That nigga said, Did you pee on me? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. But shit, man. I'ma log in with you, bro. Shit, let's close this motherfucker out. Oh yeah, man. Hey, y'all already know it's the good game podcast. They're gonna say it's your favorite game, so all gets blue. And Hey, y'all stay tuned for this EP. Like I'm, like I told you, Jizzle Man August Blue EP. My uh, uh, my album self titled Calvin. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, these LA slang episodes. Like I say, y'all stay tuned.